morning y'all it is about 10 a.m i'm off today and tomorrow this has been the busiest reserve month that i can remember i'm exhausted my body is recovering um because flying that much just will wear you out but anyways i'm off today and tomorrow so i'm just going to spend a few days off at home and just get myself ready to go back on reserve so i've got several things to do today lots of places that i need to go but first before i go anywhere i'm going to edit a video i want to get a video edited and posted and then i'm going to go see about getting my car fixed if you didn't see a few videos ago i got into a little hit and run in the airport and someone just dinged up my car a little bit and just need to go to the grocery store and do some other things but yeah first i'm going to edit a video get some stuff done on my computer and i've talked about blue light blocking glasses tons of times on my channel i've been using blue light glasses for probably like a year and a half like being on your computer or your phone all day the blue light is just not good for your eyes so it's good to wear blue light blocking glasses to try and filter out that blue light and also recently i heard that blue light glasses are supposed to help with like if you're watching blue blue light before bed like watching videos or stuff like that it can kind of affect your sleep so wearing blue light blocking glasses before bed is supposed to help with filtering out the blue light and you know helping you still get a good night's sleep so i just have blue light blocking glasses i don't have prescription glasses but all of my blue light glasses are from glasses usa i've talked about glasses usa and worked with them tons of times before so if you haven't heard me talk about glasses usa they are a one-stop shop for online shopping for glasses they have lots of cute styles to choose from lots of really great name brands so it is a really great place to look if you are shopping for glasses whether they're blue light glasses or prescription glasses or sunglasses glasses so i've got three pairs that i'll show you today i'm a very um plain jane when it comes to glasses um actually when it comes to everything i'm pretty plain so these are kind of different for me they've got the black on the top and then they've got the clear bottom so i think these are really different and pretty but they still will match with anything and then the second pair we have are just this nice neutral tan color i have a pair like these but they're a little bit lighter so i just love a good neutral tan color and then they've also got that tortoise on the outside that i always love and then the third pair are just these round black frames i think these are so cute i love the style of these just a nice little round frame so glasses usa is a great place to shop for glasses because like i said it is a one-stop shop you can browse through tons of really cute glasses and they even have a virtual try on feature so you can upload a selfie and choose the glasses that you want to try on and you can see what the glasses would look like on your face i really love that i think that's an awesome feature that they have and if you have prescription glasses then you can just upload your prescription online and they will deliver your prescription glasses in the frames that you pick out to your house so it's super convenient and like i said they have lots and lots of cute styles and great brands that they work with so definitely check out glasses usa if you're looking for some new glasses i will have the link to glasses usa in the description box below okay so first stop is actually Whole Foods. Um, I've actually got a couple of Amazon returns and I didn't realize that Whole Foods does Amazon returns now. It always makes me return stuff to Kohl's so I'm always going to Kohl's to return Amazon stuff but today we're at Whole Foods. I'm just returning this like bodysuit that I got. It just did not fit right and then also these um, like ballet flats that I got to wear as in-flight shoes and they didn't fit either i've heard really good things about this brand natural na natural naturalizer <laughs> anyways um they feel like they would be really comfy but they didn't fit my foot and also i'm just not a big like ballet flats kind of girl like if the cart runs over my foot when i'm wearing some of these it's gonna really hurt so i never wear these to work so anyways, I'm returning this stuff and then also Ulta is behind me and I've got a few things that I need to get from Ulta. Look at all these cute plants. As if I need any more plants. Ugh, succulents, these are so cute. Oh my gosh. I love little baby cacti like this. Look at this one, that one is interesting. All right, quick little Ulta haul. First, this is pretty much, this is the main thing that I came 
to Ulta for this Purology dry shampoo. This is probably my favorite dry shampoo that I've ever used. I feel like none of the drugstore dry shampoos really do it for me. The Kristen S one is really good, but I always get the travel size and I just go through it so fast. And then I also got one of these dry brushes. I just like to use this to exfoliate. Also, my favorite lip glosses of all time are these Maybelline Lifter glosses. They are just so amazing. And this is my favorite shade. This is the shade Stone. I love the big chubby applicator on this. So hydrating, plumping, glossy. But yeah, I love these. I have like five or six different shades. Okay, so I'm at Trader Joe's now. I actually don't even really think that this is a parking spot that I'm parked in. But my favorite Trader Joe's is the one in Lower Greenville. That is just the one that I always go to. But it is always so freezing cold in there. It's like walking into the Alaskan tundra and I just can't do it anymore because I'm a cold person always anyway. That Trader Joe's, I don't understand why, but they just keep it so stinking cold. So I literally switched Trader Joe's because this other Trader Joe's in Knox Henderson is like a normal temperature. It's not freezing, but I hate this one. I hate the layout of it. I hate that I have to park in a parking garage. Like I miss my Lower Greenville Trader Joe's, but it's just too cold. I can't do it. I got a kombucha at Trader Joe's. This is a new flavor to me. It's golden pineapple. Oh my stars, that's really good. So here is my little Trader Joe's haul for the day. I got two of my chicken Caesar salads. These are the best to bring on trips, just throw in my cooler. Um, and then also, I recently discovered this chicken salad. It is amazing, 10 out of 10. And I like to eat this with wheat thins. And then I also got these sliced apples, blueberries, strawberries, my favorite fruits. Um, and then this is all for the meal prep that I'm gonna do later. It's a recipe that I've made on my channel before, um, but it's from Kristen John's and it is just something that I absolutely love. Got all that and then I already have the pasta that I'm gonna use for it, so I didn't buy that. Um, and then also for the sweet tooth, dark chocolate covered pretzels and then dark chocolate covered almonds. These are amazing, I've never tried these before though. Okay, have y'all heard that the way that you can tell when your pasta noodles are done is they will stick to a cabinet if you throw it at the cabinet. Oh, that did not stick. <laughs> they look done though. Okay, maybe these just aren't very sticky. All right, so here is our finished product. I've never tried this Parmesan cheese from Trader Joe's before, but it looks like it's gonna be really good. And we had some pasta left over because I feel like it would just be too much pasta if we threw the rest in there. But I'm just gonna split this up and I'll probably even like freeze half of it because this makes a lot of food. Okay, good morning y'all. It is the next day. I don't remember the last thing that I did yesterday, but I didn't do anything super exciting yesterday for the rest of the day. I was gonna go to another like car place to see about getting my car fixed and I just decided not to. Um, I think I'm probably gonna go with somewhere that I've already been to. It's so embarrassing when I like go to a car place and ask to you know, get an estimate on how much it might be to get the front fixed because they like come out and they start looking at my car and they see the back of it, which has been, I've had a dent in the back of my car for like two years now. And so they're like, oh, what happened? And I'm like, well, actually it's on the front. And I mean, the front looks like nothing compared to the back because the back looks so bad. So it's kind of embarrassing every time I go somewhere. So I'm just kind of like done kind of over it at this point but anyways i'm just going to clean up a little bit and kind of get myself ready to go back on call tomorrow After I got back from 
whatever my last trip was, I don't even remember. But I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of get some stuff together. I always like to be just a little bit packed up just in case I get called or like if they gave me a trip this afternoon. So I think this is all I'm gonna pack for now. I just have jean shorts, a cute top just in case, you know, I get a layover where I can dress up cute and then also my pajamas i've been sleeping in like sweatshirts and sweatpants or joggers on layovers because i heard a really horrible story about somebody getting bed bugs and she like had bite marks all over her body and she said that she like sleeps in like sweatshirts and sweatpants in hotel rooms now so that is why i'm sleeping in you know full body covered clothing from now on um and then i've also been traveling with a silk pillowcase because that is what i sleep on at home and i love to feel at home and it's also just like better for your hair and like your skin like it doesn't tug on you know your face like other pillowcases especially in hotels i feel like they're always a little bit rougher but yeah it's just supposed to be good for your hair and skin and then also always 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 have a bathing suit and I think that is it for now. I'll just throw my toiletry bag in here if I do get called on a trip. Also gonna go ahead and throw some stuff in my cooler and just put that in the fridge so that it'll be ready to go in case I get called. I usually bring like the same food on like every single trip. I love these salads. They're so easy to just throw in there. And then I also love these big bags of apples from Trader Joe's. I showed y'all all this yesterday, but just figured I'd show you how I pack my cooler. And then I think I'll also just go ahead and throw these blueberries in the top here. Let's see if it'll close. Yeah, it's fine. Just because I'm feeling a little bit lazy and don't feel like putting them in a Ziploc bag right now. And then if I get called, I'll just throw some ice on here and go to the airport. Okay, believe it or not, it is actually looking so much better in here. I'm not really worried about all of this stuff because I'm going to try to sell that stuff on Facebook Marketplace. And I'm going to sell that and my couch and also this little kitchen island. But I think I'm going to keep that mirror. I never hung it up. It was supposed to be here, but I'm moving in three weeks. So I'm like, I'm not going to hang it up now. But yeah, it is looking so much better in here can actually see the floor. Okay, so it is about 5 p.m. now and I just got my reserve assignment for tomorrow. So I'm on wrap A, of course. So I'm on call from 2 a.m. to 2 p.m. But I'm just checking to see where I'm at on the list. I mean, I feel like I'll definitely get called because they've gone through everybody on wrap A like every single day. I've been watching the list even when I'm not on call. I'm like watching the list just to see what's going on and they have gone through wrap A every single day. Just been so crazy and it, it, it feels like it's like just the beginning of the summer flying craziness. So okay I'm number 45 for tomorrow but I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here so I hope that y'all enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to check out Glasses USA in the description box below if you're looking for some new glasses and thanks for watching I'll see you in my next video.